In a setback to Indian space ambitions, ISRO's mission encountered an anomaly during the third stage. The space agency launched a detailed analysis to investigate the matter. The rocket carrying 16 satellites had lifted off at 10.17 at a.m at 10.17 a.m. local time from Sri Harikota. It performed normally through the first two stages and separation. However, by the end of the third stage, there was a disturbance in the vehicle roll rates and a deviation in flight path was noticed. Performance of the vehicle close to the third stage was as expected and as predicted. And in the, close to the end of the third stage, we were seeing some disturbance in the vehicle. And uh, there was a deviation in the path of the vehicle. And uh, the mission could not proceed in the expected path. That is what is the information right now available. Now we are going, going through the data, and we have to get the data from all the ground stations. And once the data analysis is completed, we shall come back to you. Thank you. And the deviation mirrored the failure of PSLV's previous mission on the 17th of May, 2025. The PSLV has a lost chamber pressure, dooming the launch of the satellite. The mission was meant to be a comeback for PSLV, known as ISRO's workhorse rocket. On both instances, in fact, ISRO lost million-dollar satellites meant to serve national security purposes. The mission was facilitated by New Space India Limited. The commercial arm of ISRO, the primary satellite of this mission, was uh, Anvesha. This is an Earth observation satellite built by India's Defence Research Development Organisation. In fact, uh, the EOS N1 is a hyperspectral imaging satellite. This means it can see much more than the human eye or a conventional optical imaging satellite. In addition to imaging the Earth in detail, the satellite can specifically identify and differentiate between the materials that it sees. There were also 15 other satellites on board. Seven satellites of these were from India, two from Europe, five from Brazil and one from Nepal. Many of these satellites are from academia or startups and they are meant to demonstrate unique exper experiments, unique experiments in space. Today's launch dense space LV success legacy rate in a way. Before 2025, it had powered 63 prior flights successfully, including Chandrayaan-1 and Aditya L1. ISRO is yet to make public the report of the Failure Analysis Committee for last year's mission. And for more on that, our principal correspondent, Siddharth MP, getting us this report. The Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle or PSLV spacefaring rocket has been India's workhorse rocket over the last 33 years. This rocket is India's most flown rocket and has a great track record. However, over the last eight months, we've seen two PSLV failures. That too, these are repeat failures and the causes also appear to be similar as per what ISRO has revealed. The first failure took place in May 2025 when the PSLV failed mid-flight due to a third stage anomaly. This is a four-stage rocket. The third stage failed mid-flight. The rocket and the strategic satellite EOS-09 that it was carrying were lost in the process. ISRO has not revealed the exact cause of failure so far of that mission. But eight months later today, ISRO attempted a mission that was more like a comeback for the PSLV. This is called PSLV C-62. It was carrying DRDO's Anvesha satellite, again a critical national security linked satellite. But again this time, ISRO has faced a setback and the third stage of the PSLV has failed mid-flight. Rocket and satellite has been lost. In fact, there's also 15 other satellites from other countries and Indian startups and academia that have been lost in the process. So now it's time for ISRO to analyze the data, course correct, ensure better reliability and quality control next time and then get back to the launch pad as soon as possible. From Satish Dhawan Space Centre, Sri Hari Kota, Siddharth MP, Beyond World is One. To stay up to speed with the latest news, download the Weon app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.